Back in episode 51 of Filament Friday, I designed and printed this with wood filament. It's a knob for my cabinet doors, but I never really liked the design. So I finally redid it. I found one I liked and I redesigned this thing to put my logo in it. And then I did two colors. The logo is actually printed with glow-in-the-dark PLA plastic on my dual extruder Flash Forge Dreamer. I'll show you how I did all of this in this special 100th episode of Filament Friday. I made the original knob in Tinkercad and I'm going to modify it here. You can see the original knob in the back there in the orangish color. All I did was bring in a half sphere and then stretched it out the way I wanted it and then made a mirror copy of it and then brought that mirror copy on top of it until I had like a hamburger bun. And then I grouped these two together and I had the beginnings of my knob. Now I lifted it up because I need a shaft underneath this guy and that I used a cylinder. So for the cylinder I'm going to match the old one it was 17 millimeters in diameter so I'll do the same thing here. 17 millimeters in both directions and then center these two guys to each other. Now I need to lower the hamburger bun a little bit because that's just too high. So I'll lower that guy a little bit. Now the only thing left to the design, the original design, was the hole in the center which was a four millimeter diameter hole for the drywall screw. So I brought in another cylinder, made that four millimeters in diameter, made it into a hole, centered this to the other pieces and then eventually I grouped this together and that really became the knob that I used on the original design. And I, it was fine, it worked, I just wasn't crazy about it, neither was my wife. So I wanted to make something unique. So I took this same knob and I brought in my logo, I imported it into Tinkercad, the CHEP, Chuck Hullabuck's Electronic Products, and I aligned it to the center of the knob and then I turned it into a hole just to take material away. I thought, well, let's see how this looks. This is similar to the Maker Coin I, I did a while back. And so after I did it on Tinkercad here, it looked okay. I wasn't excited about it, but once I printed it, which turned out to be a, kind of a crappy print, I didn't like it at all. I just didn't like it at all, and it was really rough print. So I, I went back to Tinkercad, brought in a, cylinder, or a uh, block, and made it into a hole to cut the top of this thing off. I wanted to see how it would look if I just cut this thing flat. So I lined it to the center, then grouped those together, and you know what? I kind of like the way this looked. So I printed it out, and once I got on a cabinet, it looked good. It looked better than the picture shows here. But then I had an idea. What if I did an insert, glow-in-the-dark insert on this guy? So the first thing I had to do, I had to get that logo the exact size out of this thing. So I ungrouped it until I could get to that logo, and then duplicated it and brought it out and made it into a solid piece. And then I reversed everything here. I grouped it again to make the cutout, and then brought the block in to center that and cut the top off so I had my original knob again and that was all you know like I started but now I had the lettering which matched perfectly to it so I brought that over to to line it up and let's make a different color here so you can see it and I lined those up center to center so that should put them perfectly in place and then I lowered the height of the letters so they were just below the surface actually it started out I put it on right flush with the surface and later on I, I recessed it <laughs> I'll show you that when I uh, use simplify 3d but I had to make these two separate prints and I'm using the original version of Tinkercad so I had to make a copy of it and then delete the knob on one and then the other one delete the lettering so I had two STL files and then I imported both of those into simplify 3d and then I brought the letters up until they were one millimeter below the top of the surface. And that gave me my one millimeter recess. So now I just needed to use the dual extrusion tool to set this all up. So I go under Tools, Dual Extrusion Wizard, and now both STL files are in separate columns here. But first got to select my FlashForge Dreamer dual profile. So the knob is on the left extruder, color one, and the lettering is on the right. And I unclicked, unchecked the group and align because I had everything where I wanted it. I don't want them to mess with it. So you uncheck that box. So now I got to set the profile. So for color two, which is the letters, I got both extrusions selected and I was going to do 30% and then I changed my mind, just make it solid at pretty, pretty solid at 50%. The right extruder will do this layer at 0.2. Um, no additions, infill 50%, no support. Temperature, I did the 190 for the material. And then I did have cooling enabled, which I didn't show. 
Uh, color one is actually the knob. This is the wood filament. I used a Kaleido wood filament for this. And I did use a raft, same 50% fill, no supports, and a little higher temperature for the wood filament. And then I printed the whole thing at 40 millimeters per second. And then I click prepare to print, select all the colors, and here it is. And you can see tool zero, which is the lettering in blue, and tool one in green. So it did a great job of sorting that out, and here's how it'll look when it's printing. So the next step was to send this to the printer, and it said it would take 47 minutes and a little over two meters of plastic. So here's the time lapse of it. And the FlashForge Dreamer just does a great job on this. You can see there's no sagging, no hanging. I didn't need supports on this guy. The raft came out perfectly. And now I'll remove it from the bed, and you see it just easily just pops right off. And it looks good. There's a few little nerds there on the side, but overall this was a great print. And watch how easy this raft pops off using Simplify 3D. Boom. Off. Gone. I love that feature. So I use raft all the time because it's not a big deal. So let me show you a close-up of this guy. And here it is with the inserts. It came out pretty nice. There's a few little nerds in there, but when it glows in the dark, it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the way these turned out. If you like this project, maybe click on the videos over here and check out some of my other projects. If you want to help support the channel a dollar a month by clicking on the Patreon logo, it goes a long way. And if you're not a subscriber, come on, subscribe. Click on my logo down here. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters who have made these 100 episodes possible. I'll see you next time on Film a Friday.